Hey guys, today we're going to continue looking at systems of equations and solving them with elimination. We're going to answer the question, how do I solve systems of equations with elimination involving unmatching coefficients? So to solve a system of equations by elimination, where there are no common coefficients, we are going to need to multiply one or both of the equations by a number to create those common or opposite coefficients. So these are the steps that we're going to follow. The first thing is we need to make sure that the common variables are lined up. And then after the common variables are lined up, we will multiply one or both of the equations to create common coefficients. Then the rest of the steps are the same as what we looked at yesterday. You are going to add or subtract the equations to eliminate one of the variables. Then we will solve this new equation for that remaining variable and then substitute that variable into either of the original equations to solve for the other one. So let's look at number one. Our x's and y's are already lined up and so are the constants. However, I do not have any of those matching coefficients. So I need to create matching coefficients. So if you look at the y variables, they already have opposite signs, which means they're going to be easy to eliminate. So I want to create the same number. I have 3y and 6y. So if I multiply this top equation by 2, then that will make this a 6y and then the y's will eliminate. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2. And we are multiplying everything by 2. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3y is 6y, and 2 times 4 is 8. And then the bottom equation, I didn't do anything to it this time, so I'm just going to rewrite it underneath. 2x minus 6y equals negative 4. Now I have those matching opposite coefficients. So when I add these equations together, those y's will eliminate. And now I can just combine everything else. So 2x plus 2x is 4x, and 8 plus negative 4 is 4. And then to get x by itself, I'm going to divide by 4. And I get that x equals 1. So now I have that x equals 1. I'm going to plug in to one of the original equations and solve for y. I'm just going to plug into the original top equation. So I'm going to replace x with 1 and then plus 3y equals 4. And now I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to subtract 1. And I get 3y equals 3. And then we'll divide by 3 and we get y equals 1. So I have the x value, I have the y value, so the solution to this system is 1, 1. All right, let's look at number 2. So again, the variables are lined up already. They just don't have those matching coefficients. So I notice that the y's already have opposite signs, so that's what I'm going to try to eliminate since it's already set up nicely for that. So if I multiply this bottom equation by 2, then that will create a negative 2y, and then the y's will nicely eliminate. So let's go ahead and do that. The top equation is staying the same, so I'm just going to rewrite it. 3x plus 2y equals negative 9. And then the bottom equation, 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative y is negative 2y. And then 2 times negative 13 is negative 26. And now I can add these equations. The y's are going to eliminate 2x and 3x is 5x. And then negative 9 minus 26 or negative 9 plus negative 26 is negative 35. And then I divide by 5 and I get the x equals negative 7. So I have one of the variables, x equals negative 7. I just need to solve for y. I'm going to plug into the top equation. You can plug into either one, it doesn't matter. So it's going to be 3 times x was negative 7 plus 2y equals negative 9. So 3 times negative 7 is negative 21 plus 2y equals negative 9. I'm going to add 21 and negative 9 
plus 21 is 12. And my last step is to divide by 2. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I have my x, I have my y, so the solution to this system is negative 7, 6. Okay, let's look at number 3. So I need to eliminate either the x's or the y's. They're already lined up, so I don't have to rearrange the equations. I just need to multiply by something. So I think it would be just as easy to eliminate the x's or the y's here. I'm going to go ahead and try to eliminate the y's since I can just multiply this. I can see clearly if I multiply everything by a negative 3, then those will easily eliminate. You could multiply by a positive 3 and subtract, but I like to go ahead and take care of the signs as well. I'm going to go ahead and create those opposite signs. So I'm going to multiply this whole top equation by negative 3. And negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times y is negative 3y. And negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. And then I'm going to rewrite this bottom equation. 6x plus 3y equals 30. And I see that the variables I was trying to eliminate already have opposite signs, so I'm going to add these together. And negative 6x plus 6x zeroes out. Negative 3y plus 3y zeroes out. So I have 0 left on the left side. And then negative 30 plus 30 also zeroes out. So everything zeroed out and I'm left with 0 equals 0, which is a true statement. So that means that this system has infinite solutions. Okay, number four, variables are already lined up. I just need to eliminate. So 3x and 7x, I could get a common coefficient of 21. Um, but if I just multiply the top equation by 2, then that would eliminate the y's because that would make that 4y and 8y. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because that is less work. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply by a negative 2 to create those opposite coefficients. So negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times 4y is negative 8y. And negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And then the bottom equation is going to stay the same. And now I'm going to combine these equations. Negative 6x plus 7x is just x. Negative 8y plus 8y eliminates. And negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. So x equals negative 2. Now I just need to solve for y. So I'm going to plug x equals negative 2 back into the top equation. So 3x is negative 2 plus 4y equals 6. And now I'm going to solve for y. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So negative 6 plus 4y equals 6. I'm going to add 6 and I get that 4y equals 12 and then we'll divide by 4 and we get that y equals 3. So there's my first part of the solution and there's the second part so the solution to this system is negative 2, 3. Okay, number five. So I have 2x plus 4y equals 6, and 3x equals 12 minus 6y. So my variables are not lined up here. So I have a first step here. I need to rearrange this bottom equation. Well, rearrange either one of them to line up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange that bottom equation. I can see if I add 6y to both sides that it will be in the same order with the variables as the top equation. So top equation stays the same, 2x plus 4y equals 6, and then that bottom equation is going to become 3x plus 6y equals 12. Okay, so I've rearranged it. Now I need to create those common coefficients. 
So I think I'm going to have to multiply both of the equations by something because I can't multiply 2 by something to get to 3 or I can't multiply 4 by something to get to 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both equations to create a 6x. So I'm going to multiply this top equation by 3 and then I'm going to multiply the bottom equation. I'm going to go ahead and multiply it by a negative 2 to create not only the matching but also opposite coefficients. So 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times 4y is 12y, and 3 times 6 is 18. Then the bottom equation I'm multiplying by negative 2, negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x, negative 2 times 6y is negative 12y, and negative 2 times 12 is negative 24. And now I just combine these equations, the x's will eliminate, and then the y's eliminate too. 12y plus negative 12y is 0. So on the left side, I'm left with 0. And then 18 minus 24 is negative 6. So this is a false statement. My variable zeroed out, and I was left with a false statement, which means that this is a no solution. There is no solution to this system. Okay, let's look at number six. So my variables are not lined up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two y in that first equation to get the x and y on the same side like it is in the bottom equation. So then I get five x plus two y equals negative three. And then the bottom equation stays the same, three x plus three y equals 9. Okay, now I need to multiply one or both of the equations by something to create those matching coefficients. I'm going to try to eliminate the y's here. I'm going to make a coefficient of 6 for both of them. So that means that I need to multiply the top equation by 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply the bottom equation by a negative to create to create not only matching but also opposite coefficients. So 3 times 5x is 15x. And then 3 times 2y is 6y. And then 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then the bottom equation, I'm going to distribute that negative 2. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times 3y is negative 6y. And negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. And now I'm going to combine these equations. 15x plus negative 6x is 9x. 6y plus negative 6y eliminates. And negative 9 minus 18 is negative 27. And now I'm going to divide by 9. And I get that x equals negative 3. So I have the x value. Now let's find the y value by plugging back into one of the original equations. I'm going to plug into the bottom equation. So this will be 3 times negative 3 plus 3y equals 9. So 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus 3y equals 9. And then I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And I get 3y equals 18. And then we'll divide by 3. And I get that y is 6. So I have my x value of negative 3, I have the y value of 6, so that means the solution to this system is negative 3, 6.